These are some of the best Fortnite lockers I've ever fully reviewed. Which one is your favorite? This is the first locker, but as you can see, they've actually redeemed a couple of packs here. The one featuring the Goldfish Midas, the Reverie Chill Vibes Starter Pack skin, which has her pickaxe and also 600 V-Bucks, the Bright Agent Lego Pack, honestly a clean skin, and it does include the Bat Bling, but as we can see, guys, they are wearing the Travis Scott skin, and I know for the fact that this locker is about to be super stacked but they also claimed another pack with some v bucks the clara starter pack skin again 600 v bucks plus the contract gilla pack which includes the bat bling v book quests and now they have a save the world pack as well so this is their loadout travis scott with the purple ghost portal bat bling so we know they have the purple school trooper skin the midnight scythe pickaxe which you unlocked by redeeming a v book code and for their emotes they have floss from the season 2 battle pass travis scott's headbanger it's complicated which you can get from redeeming a code best mates from season 3 the gritty and also scenario so now we know they have the iconic skin this locker i can already tell you it's going to be stacked but let's focus on quality over quantity so they have got the psycho bandit skin master chief in the matte black style lara croft ariana grande astro jack and there is travis as well then they have spider-man in the golden style the black knight so they got the max season 2 battle pass and also the mandalorian dark vertex an xbox skin which costs so much glow the other samsung skin galaxia the first ever fortnite crew pack but there's something coming up in this locker i've never really spoken about before and i've had so many people tell me it's rare so i'm excited to show that when it comes up but they have got fully gold and Midas, Omega, Raptor, The Predator, Chapter 2, Season 5, Red Knight, and also Rogue Spider Knight, the Xbox skin, Rose Team Leader from Save the World, Ruin, which was a secret skin, Chapter 1, Season 8, Serana was also a secret skin, but from Chapter 2, they got the Ice King, the Foundation, Spire Assassin, the Visitor, another secret skin, and also John Wick. And we're getting close to the skin, which I really want to show you, and it's actually 8 Ball versus Scratch. But these two styles aren't nothing crazy. However, they have the fully corrupted style. And I've been told by so many people that this is rare. You had to grind so much to unlock this. So comment down below, have you got it? And is it actually rare? But I've heard it's super special to have. So it's super cool to see the fully corrupted style right there. They've also got Agent Peely. Brutus, they chose the ghost style and they do also have it in fully gold. Cameo Needs Lou, Katrina. Sabiris from Chapter 5 Season 2, Darby Dynamo from The Pack, Elite Agent from Season 3, Golden Gear Midas, The Honor God, another phone exclusive from Chapter 1, and there is the Iconic which we did see the emote for. They got Jules, Lil Split from the Fortnite OG Season, Mecha Team Leader, The OG Peely from Chapter 1 Season 8, such a good skin, Rust Lord from Season 3, Rogue Agent as well, The Purple School Trooper, Granted to players who bought the skin in Chapter 1, Season 1. They also have Snake Eyes, Sparkle Specialist, The Ace Starter Pack, T and Tina, Wild from Season 9, Xander from the Refer a Friend Challenges, Breakpoint from the Pack, The Demogorgon, Endless Ned, Fishstick, and they have got the World Cup style as well. Party Trooper, Powerhouse, one of the first Save the World packs, a pretty rare skin. And they even have the Renegade Raider. So look, they might not have have the most skins in the game but look at what skins they have like it's crazy rare samurai scrapper another save the world pack rue which was a blacklisted skin she's not been out for so long and this is why i think this locker is one of the best these are all of their favorited ones you guys can see for yourself how stacked this truly is and with the fully corrupt eight ball versus scratch skin as well this is a w locker we'll quickly take a look at their emotes but they got this one headbanger hang loose celebration raid from the challenges they've got a lot of icon emotes even laser blast as well in fact they've got pretty much most icon emotes and even the rare ones as well for marvel they pretty much have almost all of them and star wars they have got the rare one jedi training for epic rarity they got some battle pass ones fresh from the item shop a classic rocket rodeo which you can now get from a code hype chapter one battle pass 
The Michael Myers emo. Members only from the Fortnite crew. Kind of rare. Rambunctious from season four. Tidy from season three. And also take the L from the battle pass. They even have sweet from the chapter four Fortnite Mares challenges. Zombified. Out with the old, which might never return. The wave from season two. And even zombie shambles. One of the rarest item shop emotes. So this locker was crazy. Let's look at the next one. This locker has a Fortnite cosmetic only 20. 28 people in the world own and i have never actually reviewed a locker which owns this i mean it's just very impressive as you can see though in their locker loadout they have got the new emote drop a like if you managed to claim this before it left the item shop now we are going to get onto the skin straight away they have got over 550 which is pretty stacked but another unique thing about this locker is apparently they have every challenge emote in the game first off they have the dark scully xbox skin the playstation 5 style alloy it's honestly a pretty clean style i don't have this as i don't have a playstation 5 and then they have got the xbox style gaming legend skins as well like marcus right here the master chief skin psycho bandit as well from season x this is kind of becoming rare because i don't think it's ever going to come back to the shop then they got cypher pk these are their marvel ones starting off with deadpool which was the secret skin mystique in the golden style and now onto star wars skins it does look like they probably have them all and then for legendary they have the dark vertex xbox exclusive do they have the full bundle though with the pickaxe and glider we're gonna find out they have elsa midas is it fully golden you already know it's gotta be right the rogue spider knight another xbox skin i do have this but i never wear it i'm just not a huge fan of it the ice king agent peely but it's not golden the bone wasp i've never seen this skin in game daryl dixon dio another skin i never see the far out man they got this invisible skin right here i guess this is pay to win Bruh. fully gold Golden Meowsles 2. Plague, which returns. Not many people expected that. The Renegade Shadow. You know, they've got a bunch of normal Battle Pass skins. The Intel skin, though, PC exclusive. Since Star, she did return to the item shop. T and Tina in the golden style. The Wildcat 2. I mean, it's just one of the best skins in the game, isn't it? Like, subscribe if you agree. That blue style, it just doesn't get old. But the cosmetic only 28 people have will be coming up soon in this video. But they have got Huntsmaster Saber the new xbox exclusive not my favorite xbox skin but i did get it for the collection as well the king crab i never see the skin shot caller for some reason this one always gets rare but then comes back special forces did make a return the trench trawler is actually becoming rare again because nobody bought it and then these are their uncommon skins as you can see they have got a couple of the fncs ones the rainbow racer from the refer a friend challenges but the skins isn't what this locker is all about so let's just see what pickaxes and gliders they have before we get onto the main part the emotes so straight onto their favorites they have got the exclusive wildcat pickaxe which we can see right there their eon pickaxe which means they got the full bundle the dark vertex pickaxe which means they got the full bundle vertex as well this one is from a playstation plus pack they've just got a bunch of nice pickaxes on their favorites some are rare some are exclusive and some are just nice to use oh and then they do have the laser pick as well you have to grind save the world i still don't have this one and the secret sledge from completing no build challenges it's kind of rare and then the intel exclusive axe too which is so clean so now we're straight onto the emotes they have 1400 for all starting it from dc i'm pretty sure they just have every single one of them same with gaming legends as well it looks like they have them all secret twitch drop spray now for icon series they have got the travis scott headbanger emote pull up which hasn't been out for like 700 days it's crazy that icon emotes are actually becoming rare like i never thought that was gonna happen but most rare ones nowadays are literally all icon ones just like go mufasa again it's not been out for over 700 days kind of crazy actually if you think about it the salome style is also a banned emote not been out for over a year and then they have stuck like what is going on with stuck why hasn't it returned but it's not been out for over 600 plus days and only released twice so we can confirm it's a rare emote at this point and they got the quick style the secret mr beast drop spray and onto marvel it looks like they probably have have all of the marvel emotes the only rare one i can think of is widow's pirouette and of course they have got it right there as well now remember what i said earlier guys they should have every challenge emote and starting off with star wars they have got the jedi training this was one of the hardest challenge emotes to actually unlock 
Now for Epic Rarity. Yep, they got Booby Trapped. Another challenge one from Season 8. Electro Shuffle. Hula. Shake It Up. One of my favorite emotes, to be honest. You know, they've just got a bunch of regular item shop ones, which collectors buy. I'm pretty sure they have almost every emote in the game. We can see Deep End as well. Another challenge one from Season 9. Glyphic, which hasn't been out for like a year again. Hot Marot. So many people always tell me this emote is rare. But guys, it was literally free. Millions of people got it. However, Introducing is rare because it was the first ever PlayStation emote. And it's actually my favorite emote in the entire game. It's complicated as well. Also rare. It's not been out because it used to be in a lawsuit. But I think it can return now. Lil Tree, another challenge emote. This one was kind of hard to get. Members only from the Fortnite crew. Orange Justice from Season 4. Point Out from Season 7. Reality's Master, again, another challenge emote. I don't think everyone got this. If you managed to unlock it, make sure you drop a like on this video. But I don't see many people using it. Then they got Square Up, another PlayStation exclusive. Kind of a clean dance, actually. Sweet Shot from the bonus Battle Pass rewards. And also this Drum Beat emote as well. Again, I don't think many people unlocked this one. I mean, I've not seen anyone using it. Vibrant Vibin from the Twitch drop. Kind of rare now as well. Super clean dance. And also the original Vibin, which did make a return recently. Then they got Unification from the Dark Series pack. Where is Matt? Another really good emote. And I think we're getting close to the insanely rare item because we are now onto Uncommon Rarity. They've got BC and you from John Wick. And also a unique thing about this locker is that it also has the FNCS drops, like all of them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here they are right here. They got the blue one, the purple one, the red one, and the gold one. I believe the gold one's actually the rarest, but it's cool to see all of the FNCS rewards right there. Fun Flower, only 2,500 people in the world have this. Game Jam Spray from 2019. The new rewards from Ranked Game Mode. A college reward emoji as well. Hang Loose, yo, I didn't know bro was chill like that. The German Creator Bundles, which are super rare. I declare, technically, this is another challenge emo. So you might want to check the locker to see if you've got it. The Save the World Spray right there. Jumping Jacks. Kiss the Cup from the World Cup. Never gonna return. It's not been out for way over a thousand days. Healy Parade from Challenges. The PlayStation Emojis. They got Raise the Cup. Not been out for over a thousand days now. Shaolin Sip. Another challenge emo. Snacking. Again, I never see this one. Stake your claim. Probably the rarest emote to ever see because you have to get a win in order to use this. Take the Elf from Season 7. Take the Cake, the Fortnite Birthday Reward. Team Space. Welcome, a limited time emote from Season X. And also Zombie Shambles, probably the rarest shop emote in the game right now until it returns. But for the cosmetic only 28 people have, it's actually the Cameo Means Loot. This locket is one of the winners of the Lantern Trials Photography Quests. It's literally the rarest item in Fortnite. It's crazy to see in a stacked locker like this. There was actually 30 codes for it, but two of the same people won from last year. So only 28 people have it technically. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one. Wait, they have all four over? OG skins? This can't be real. I'm going to review a few different Fortnite lockers and there's some special things coming up. So let's just get straight into the first one. For the first locker, this one obviously has the Renegade Raider and you know, they're just scrolling through their skins. It doesn't look like it's that stacked, but I mean, having the Renegade Raider, you know, it's just a W in itself. Of course, the checkered style is right there. In total, there's only 205 skins, 130 skins on their recent. And for the favorites, they have got the Black Knight Omega, but it's not Max. They got the school trooper on the favorites, but they're not showing it. So maybe it's not purple. These are their favorited batblings. But the pickaxes, oh, they do have the Raiders Revenge as well. Can it get better than that? Not really. Then these are their favorited ones. The star ones, and that's about it. Now onto their emotes, they have got Fresh from Season 2. Hot Marot from Season 6. It's not rare, but it's cool to see. The floss, yeah, I mean, obviously, if they have the Black Knight, then they have the floss. The new Sprout of Tune emote. This one's pretty cool, actually. I did buy it as well. Tidy from Season 3. It did make a return. Oh, they got the new Toasted Coconut. Okay, they've been grinding their challenges. I see. Even Go Home as well. This is actually a very rare emote. It's one of the rarest emotes in the game. The new self reflecting one. Team Space. You know what? For emotes, this locker's kind of impressive. I'm not gonna lie. This person has labeled their locker bad locker. I mean, can it really be that bad? They're 
wearing the new Meowth skin, the Travis Scott Astro World Bat Bling. So we know they have the Astro World skin. Meowth's pickaxes from Chapter 2, Season 2. The Mako Glider. Obviously, it's an OG locker from Season 1. Take the L so we know they have the Season 3 Battle Pass. The Gritty. Little Tree. I guess it kind of matches the summer vibes they're going for. The Floss as well. So they got the Season 2 Battle Pass. Zombie Shambles, one of the rarest emotes in the game right now. But it might return at Halloween. And then they got Fresh. Last seen over 1,500 days ago. So I don't think this locker is looking too bad. But let's just get into the skins and see what they got. Starting from the top, these are their Dark Series and DC Series skins as well. They got the Batman. That one's pretty cool in my opinion. Polar Peely, the Free Skin, Isaac Clark, and also Lara Croft. Probably my favorite game in Legend skins, other than Chun-Li. Master Chief, and they do have the Xbox style. Then for Icon Series, they got Ariana Grande. So they have Astro Jack, but they don't have Travis Scott. I'll be honest, that is a pretty rare thing to see because most people who have Travis have this, or they only have Travis. But to see this on its own, that's pretty rare. I'm not gonna lie. Marshmallow from Season 7. Then, of course, Neymar from the Battle Pass as well. For Marvel skins, they got Deadpool, Psylocke, Spider Man, and also Spider Gwen. They only have two Star Wars skins. They're both Battle Pass ones. The Black Knight. So they got tier 70 in Season 2. Dark Voyager from Season 3. One thing I was told about this locker is that apparently it has almost every starter pack skin in the game. So we're going to see if they do or not. But they got John Wick from Season 3. The Ice King from Season 7. VI. So they do actually have Fortnite crew skins as well. Cameo needs Lou. Darby Dynamo. This is such a great skin from an underrated pack. And the built-in emo is amazing. Amazing. Elite Agent from the Season 3 Battle Pass. A couple of normal item shop skins and then also jewels with the mask on style. Moonwalker, the Cooper skin. The original Meowsles from Chapter 2, Season 2. And then here is the summer one that they have equipped. I think the original one is better, to be honest. Rogue Agent. So they have the first ever starter pack skin. So you know what? Maybe they do have them all. Rust Lord as well from Season 3. Siona, School Trooper. Wait! The <laughs> Purple school trooper. Okay. Kind of threw me off guard. I'm not going to lie. This was not looking like... I mean, it does have the Mako glider. I guess it is all making sense now. But yeah, the purple school trooper from season one. Oh, make sure you drop a like for that. They got Sky as well. Sparkle specialist from season two. Snake eyes. Somehow it's not been out for 700 days. So it's actually considered a rare skin now. But we need to be looking out for the other starter pack skins. Just like the ace from season five. Unchanged. Ramirez. Apparently, all of the Balenciaga skins are actually banned, so I don't think they're going to be making a return anytime soon. Wingman, another starter pack skin from Season 4. Yeah, you know what? I, I am convinced they have them all. Wild as well from Season 9. Blue Squire from Season 2. Breakpoint, I don't think it's a starter pack skin, but it is a pack. However, the Centurion is a starter pack skin from Chapter 2, Season 6. Same with this one as well. I'm pretty sure it's a starter pack skin, and also the Diamond Diva. By the way, if you can see that they're missing any of the starter packs, just comment down below which ones because so far I don't think they're missing any. They got the fish stick and they do also have the World Cup style. Frost Squad, the other Balenciaga skin, Game Night. Laguna, yep, starter pack skin from Season 8. Iris, the starter pack skin from Chapter 2, Season 2. So they do really be collecting. Dizzy, wait, is this a starter pack as well? I feel like it might be. Party Trooper skin, I mean, currently it's kind of rare, but it's going to be making a return anytime soon in a locker bundle. Royal Knight from Season 2. Seeker, yep. Again, do I even need to say it? It's from a starter pack. So is Tegan. This is a Chapter 4 one. Wavebreaker as well. Another starter pack skin. And so is the Yellow Jacket. I mean, surely they literally have them all. Then for uncommon skins, they just got the, uh, you know, regular item shop ones. But also the Medina Icon from the Ferrari bundle. This hasn't been out for around 500 or 600 days now. People are starting to consider it rare. The Ghostbuster skins, the Scarlet commander and also the first ever fncs skin last seen around 800 days ago now honestly i'm gonna consider this rare because it's just like the world cup skin i guess for their favorited emos they got jabber switchway laser blast luna party out west stuck of course we already saw it orange justice you know it's just a classic glyphic 
Sprinkler. Rambunctious. A lot of people don't know, but this did actually return. The Ghostbusters emo. Of course, we did see a skin of the Ghostbusters earlier. The new self-reflexing Meowsles emo. They must like all of the Meowsles stuff. Zombie Shambles, a very rare dance we saw. And then take the L from Wish. In my opinion, it's not a bad locker. I'm not sure why they think it is. Let me know what you guys think. But let's go on to the next one. This Fortnite player had the chance to buy pretty much any item from Chapter 1 Season 1. But they didn't. However, it wasn't a mistake because it made them want to collect everything. So first, let's have a look at their locker, starting off with the skins. And in total, they have over 1,700. So I genuinely think this is going to be the most insane locker that I've actually ever seen. I mean, they're literally only missing a few skins in the entire game, which is super impressive. Starting from the top, they got the Xbox skin, Dark Scully. At Command from the Chapter 2 Battle Pass. Starfire from the Item Shop, Catwoman. They have all of the Frozen and legend skins and also all of the gaming legend skins with the playstation 5 alloy being right there kratos in the gold style from playstation 5 as well lara croft in the golden style too this is kind of rare to be honest master chief in the matte black style psycho bandit so yeah all of the gaming legend skins now onto icon series they got chloe kim major laser now i actually think they have every icon skin besides travis scott which is kind of crazy to think like they're missing less than 20 skins in the game but no travis scott but now onto marvel though they got the original black widow captain marvel eddie brock which was rare for kind of a long time yeah no doubt in my mind they have indeed got every single marvel skin with the wolverine crew skin being right there they got all of the shadow series skins all of the slurp skins for star wars they probably have them all as well with the maxed out mandalorian being the first battle pass one so yeah all of the star wars skins now we're on to legendary though they got ali which is from the Fortnite crew carbide maxed out from season four the dark vertex xbox exclusive the codes for these are ridiculously expensive eon though the other xbox exclusive i'm guessing they got all of the xbox skins frostbite from the pack galaxia from the Fortnite crew this is their maya skin from chapter two season two and also the glow samsung exclusive skin right there and havoc 2, the first ever twitch prime skin from season three like, I'm telling you guys, they got pretty much everything. This locker is crazy stacked. And we're going to get onto the mistake soon. But they have got the fully golden Midas. Omega, is it maxed out? No, it's not. At least they have the skin though. Rogue Spider Knight, there we go. Another Xbox One. Rose Team Leader. So yeah, we know they got Save the World now. They have all of the secret skins from Chapter 1 as well. The Reaper from the Battle Pass. VI, another Fortnite Crew skin. Warpaint. They got all of the Mogul Masters. The Coachella skins. Axion Sentinel, the level up quest pack. Aida, she's also a level up quest pack. And then they have got Blitz, which is one of the OG NFL skins. Really rare skin, if I'm honest. I never see those. Caper. Chani, which is one of the Dune skins. Chief Hopper from Stranger Things. The Chaos Origins. And she has got the Golden Style. Cloud Striker, though. A PlayStation skin. Clutch from the Hangtime collab. The Chapter 2 NFL skins. Dawn from the item shop. Darby Dynamo. Kind of rare. She's from a pack. Honestly, a clean skin too. Dara. She's a save the world skin. Deimos, which is a Fortnite crew skin. Double Helix. Guys, this is one of the rarest exclusive skins in the game from Nintendo Switch. Drop a like for that because so many people want this, but codes are impossible to find. Elite Agent from the Chapter 1 Season 3 Battle Pass. The Balenciaga skins, which haven't returned for a while. Galaxy from Chapter the one season five. Oh, by the way did i mention i think they have every exclusive skin in the game giddy up from chapter one season six guardian amara she is from a quest pack drizz from the battle pass hang time skin ruby kind of rare to be honest honor god chapter one exclusive yeah like no joke they genuinely have them all i believe and after honor god we have iconic as well which now means they have the scenario emote and we're gonna see emote shortly but they have got jackie and also janky duke so they got a bunch of the chapter one season six nfl skins kelsia too this is rare and even i don't have this skin lambro another fortnite crew skin and lyra as well she's from a quest pack very rare
rare, but she's probably going to make a return soon. Mari Gold from the pack. Mike Lowry from the item shop. A skin that you never really see. Neo Versa, a PlayStation exclusive. P1000 from the pack. Phantasm from the Level Up Quest pack. Holo Prodigy. Red Strike Season X starter pack. The Rogue Agent Season 3 starter pack. The Royal Bomber, though. Another PlayStation skin from Redeeming a Code. I never see this one. Russ Lord Season 3. Sarah Connor. Shaman, probably the least used skin in the game. Shadow Midas. Sierra from the Fortnite crew. And on the edit styles, they have got the gold one, which was exclusive as well. Sky, but they only got a tiny bit of it gold, so they don't have the golden banana. Slayer Charlotte. Sophia from the John Wick set. Very underrated. Sparkle Specialist. Season 2 Battle Pass. Clean skin and a classic too. The Siren from the pack. Sterling. Sub Commander, the other Twitch Prime skin. Summer Fable, Sun Strider from Season 5, the Surf Strider from Chapter 2, but this is an exclusive skin. Then they got Swish, Golden Tirana, the Ace Season 5 starter pack, Tiantina in the fully golden style, Zombie Superhero skin, Tracy Trouble from Fortnite Crew, Trailblazer from Twitch Prime, Vox Hunter from a quest pack, Wildcat Nintendo Switch skin. So they got both of the Nintendo skins. Wild from the Season 9 starter pack, Wingman from Season 4, and also Wonder another phone exclusive Xander from refer a friend blue squire from the season 2 battle pass broadwalk ruby bravo leader a rare item shop skin breakpoint from the v book quest pack catastrophe carbon commando from playstation they got colby from save the world clip also from save the world good skin combat tech jewels from the pack contract giller from the pack there's actually kind of a lot of packs in fortnite but they got cypress nell the demogorgon from stranger things desperado and OG G skin. The El Chapulin skins. I never see anyone use those, but they're kind of cool. Endless Ned. Again, a Save the World pack. Fixer. Another PlayStation skin. Frankenstein's Bride. She didn't return at Halloween, to be honest. Frontier. The Jonesy. Huntmaster Saber. The other Xbox skin. I think we've seen all of the Xbox ones now. Hyperion. Infiltrator. Iris from the Chapter 2 Season 2 starter pack. Lars. Another Save the World pack. That one's kind of rare. Laguna from Season 8. Lockbot from save the world machinist mina from save the world she's actually very rare like when do you ever see this skin super clean as well mecha pop another save the world pack party trooper and they have got both of the exclusive edit styles j balvin and the rift tour one power house this is one of the first save the world packs a very rare skin prodigy another playstation skin reflex from season six this hasn't been out for over a thousand days but have they got the red one we're gonna see shortly robo kevin from Save the world, a pretty rare skin, and also Robo Ray. This is so clean. Royal Knight Season 2 Battle Pass. Rue, she's a blacklisted skin. And they do have Samurai Scrapper. So, okay, they have every single Save the World pack confirmed. That's pretty impressive. They also got the Blenciaga Doggo, Showdown, Sid Obsidian, another Save the World skin. I kind of forgot about this one. School Ranger, Sled Ready Girth, Snorkel Ops, Sparkle School, Special Forces, an OG skin. And they have got the red and black stealth reflex this is the exclusive one not the green one sultora another playstation skin they got the mummy trench trawler trailblazer links from the level up quest pack underworld desdemona veronica from the starter pack victoria saint volpez from the fortnite crew yellow jacket caution and we are onto uncommon skins they got the fncs aura fncs jonesy cosmic infinity dummy supreme the fncs iris seeker and also the renegade the Ferrari skins, the NBA 75 skins, which are kind of rare. Rainbow Racer from Refer a Friend. The Recon Champion. Scout, which is an OG skin. The first FNCS skin, the Champion. But have they got the World Cup skin? They got Tracker Season 1. Victor Elite. And yes, they have got the World Cup Warrior right there. Let's take a look at what emotes they got. But in total, they have over 1,755 for all. So they pretty much have almost every emote in the entire game. So from the top, they have all of the gaming legends emotes. And onto icon series, they got Hang Loose Celebration, the Juby Slide, Raid from Travis Scott, Pull Up, one of the DaBaby emotes, the Gritty, of course, who doesn't have this, Go Mufasa, another DaBaby emote, Heart of a King, Hit It, Jabba Switchway, so they got all DaBaby emotes, Keep It Mellow from Chapter 1 Season 7, 
Laser Blast from Season X. Lunar Party from Chapter 4 Season 1. Maximum Bounce. Night Owl. Out West. Okay, a Travis Scott emo. Have they got Headbanger though? I don't think they do. Point and Shoot from the Battle Pass. Popular Vibe. Rain Check. So this one's kind of new from Lady Gaga. The Reaper Showtime. Honestly, a good emo. Rolly as well. Rushing Around. This hasn't returned in such a long time. Savage from Chapter 2. Shout. Stuck, which hasn't been out for a long time. I don't know if it's ever going to make a return. The Dip, the Free Emote, the Flow, the Macarena. They got Dance Monkey, Gunslinger Smoke Show. And now we are onto Marvel Emotes. They have them all, no doubt in my mind. And for Star Wars, I think think they might have them all no they don't have jedi training i think everyone is missing jedi training to be honest it's very rare but they got booby trap from chapter one season eight challenges boogie down from season four the crown emo of course fresh one of the most wanted emotes in the game right now i don't know if it's ever gonna return maybe when og fortnite comes back they got most item shop emotes and also battle pass ones as well but also the challenge emotes like deep end fanciful from the shop Feeling Jaunty, Fierce from Season 8, and Flapper as well. The Floss, okay, nice. OG emote. Introducing a PlayStation emote. This was the first PS1 to release. It's complicated though. Laugh It Up, which hasn't been out for a long time now. Lil Treat from the Challenges. Lil Turtle Van. Rambunctious, which did return, but now it's not been back for over a year. Scenario from the Iconic set, one of the best emotes in the entire game. They got Square Up, the second PlayStation emote. Take the L. Literally so many people want this. The look from Blenciaga. Vibrant Vibin from the Twitch drop. The uncommon emotes. There's not many rare ones in the game, but they have got Kiss the Cup. A bunch of rare sprays, including the Galaxy Llama. Out with the old from New Year's in Chapter 2, Season 5. This is pretty rare. Salute, an OG emote. Sing Along from Chapter 2. The new Sweet Sing one. Take the L from Season 7. The Victory Trophy from FNCS. Vulcan Salute. The Wave. And they do also have zombie shambles i don't have this one they even have over 1000 pickaxes this is a w account subscribe for more we just got a brand new fortnite season and what better to do than look at a stacked fortnite locker but this one's very unique as it's only missing around nine emotes in the entire game and we're going to be taking a look at what those emotes could be but look at their locker loadout they got the rift rock bat bling which is very rare the merry mint axe the blue streak glider so now we know they have a playstation exclusive skin and then for emotes, they got Freestyling from Twitch Prime. Stuck, which may never return. L Dance, like kind of toxic if you ask me. Vibrant Vibin from Twitch. Jedi Training, the rarest challenge emo. Oh, and then they do have Scenario as well. So now we know they have the iconic skin. And then for wraps, they got the Stranger Things wrap, the Goo Buddies, which again, one of the rarest wraps in the game, and then a bunch of other rare ones too. So before we get onto emotes, let's quickly take a look at what skins they have. Starting off with Dark Scully from Xbox, the PlayStation 5 style Aloy, the Xbox style Master Chief and Marcus as well. These are their Icon Series ones right here. They got Booga, Marshmallow, LeBron James, but they don't have Travis Scott. So maybe they're missing one of the Travis Scott emotes as well. These are all of their Star Wars skins right here. They probably have them all. Dark Vertex from Season 9, one of the most expensive exclusive skins. And then they have also got Eon, the other Xbox one. So not only do we know they're stacked on emotes, but they're obviously stacked on skins too and they got glow from samsung there's a new battle pass one right there i mean this skin's kind of cool like the hair is just fire rogue spider knight from xbox the rose team leader from save the world then of course they've just got a bunch of your regular you know battle pass skins Cloud Striker from PlayStation, Daryl Dixon, Elite Agent, a classic skin from Season 3, DJ Yonder, The Honor God 2, another exclusive. So far, they've got so many exclusives. There's Iconic. Yeah, we did see the emote for it. I mean, the emote solos. They got Janky. This is another skin I just never see. Like, who even has this? I mean, I do, but like, who else has it? Comment down below if you do. They got Lil Whip. You know, they just died within the new trailer. So rest in peace, Lil Whip. Lieutenant Evergreen, Mike Lowry, such a W skin, The Moonwalker, Mr. Me Seeks. Hi guys, it's Cooper. 
make sure you drop a like on the video and subscribe. Oh, thanks for that, Cooper. They got Neo Versa, a PlayStation exclusive skin, the Omega Knight from the Quest Pack, the Phantasm from the Quest Pack as well, Redline, Rick Grimes, Rogue Agent from Season 3, and even Royal Bomber, another exclusive skin from PlayStation. I mean, they're, they're stacked on exclusives. They really are. Rust Lord, Shadow Midas, Sub Commander, the other Twitch Prime one. Surfshider, would you guys guess another exclusive skin? Trailblazer, the second Twitch Prime pack. We did see the emote for this earlier. I, I kind of do like the skin a little bit. Okay. And they have Wildcat too. Like, I mean, it's one of the best skins in the game. Three styles. You guys already know the vibes. And to go hand in hand with Wildcat, they have also got the Wonder from Season 9. So both of the mobile phone promotions. Yeah, I think they pretty much have every exclusive skin other than Galaxy. But Wonder's kind of a W. Blue Team Leader, we did see the glider for this skin earlier from Season 2. Honestly, it's not bad. Blizzard Bomber, another exclusive. Cade, I mean, this hasn't been out in a long time. Pretty rare skin. Chrome Punk. Another PlayStation exclusive. Renegade Raider from Wish. Hyperion. They just have like so many skins. I mean, even Reflex as well. Hasn't been out in over a thousand days. Pretty rare skin. Sled Ready Guff. I mean, Guff's the GOAT. Oh, they got Stealth Reflex as well. Okay, so they must have got a graphics card or a code in order to get this. I saw the green one and now we saw the red and black one. Sultora, another PlayStation skin. Trilogy, would you guys guess another PlayStation skin? I think they have pretty much every PlayStation pack. Wake Rider, another rare skin you never see. Cole as well. I know a lot of people wanted this to return, but I feel like everyone forgot about this skin. And then these are all of their uncommon ones right here. Rainbow Racer. So let's get straight onto emos and figure out which ones they're actually missing. In total, they have 585. So yeah, they're really not missing a lot. These are their DC ones as you guys can see they are missing one of the chapter 2 season 6 ones and also the Lara Croft emote so there's already two that is missing then for the icon series they got Pele's air punch crazy boy one of the best icon emotes dynamic shuffle feel the flow the gritty gloss sleek and silky smooth yeah W emote for sure go Mufasa wait do they have all of the baby emotes they have got Jabba switch way we just need to check if they have pull up but they have got out west, rushing around. Salome style, which is a banned emo. It may never return. Side shuffle. Okay, so I don't see pull up. I don't think they have that one. These are their Marvel ones right here. I mean, the only one we're looking for is Widow's Pirouette. And yes, they have got it. I think they have every Star Wars emo. And then they even have challenge ones as well, like Booby Trapped, Breakdown from Season 5. They have got Fresh. I mean, this is definitely one of the more rare emotes nowadays because everything came back. Freestyling, yeah, we did know about this. Shake it up, sign spinner, the robot from the season three battle pass. I don't think I saw Black Knight, so I don't think they have the floss or the worm, which is another two that they're missing. They got Clean Groove, Crisscross, Deep End, another challenge emote from Season 9. Fierce, a challenge emote from Season 8. Fright Funk. Follow the Butterfly. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the PlayStation emotes. Let's see if they have all of them. Good Guy, Hitchhiker, Hot Marot, the free emote from Season 6. So we can confirm they have that one. Introducing. So that's the rarest PlayStation emote. Now all we need to see is if they got Square Up. But they have got It's Complicated, which is kind of rare. Laid Back Shuffle, Lavish. Then Lil Cart from the pack. Lil Prancer, the free emote. Members only. Oh, they got Pick It Up. Okay, right now, this is probably the rarest emote in the entire game. Not been out for over a thousand days. Only came to the shop a small amount of times. And you guys already know I don't have this. So like, Pick It Up, can, can you just come back, please? And then Orange Justice from Season 4, classic emote. They got Pony Up, so we can confirm that they have that. Rambunctious, Ribbon Dancer, The Realities Master Challenge emote, Scenario, Sprinkler, Sugar Rush. Okay, so they got the new Battle Pass emote, Swag Shot. They're probably missing the other ones because they're not level 100, but we're not going to count that because they're going to get them. Switch Step, Taco Time, Tidy from Season 3, their new target, Training 1 as well, Terse from Season X, Vibin, Vibrant Vibin from Twitch. 
So wait, what what are they missing then? We need to check uncommon emotes. They got the new champion celebration. They even have the challenge emote as well. Check the map. Guys, make sure you subscribe if you have this emote because there wasn't a very long time to get it and I feel like not many people actually got it. Okay, they got go home from season X, but have they got welcome? They do have kiss the cup, so we can confirm that they have that one. And now it's back to its original music as well. Rootin and tootin, the statue emote, sweaty rotation another challenge one that they do have team space this is also pretty rare the wave from season two but they didn't have the floss they got the default dance but they don't have zombie shambles or welcome so that's all of their emotes they're missing i think it's like under 10 or around 10 crazy stack locker so make sure you guys do drop a like if you enjoy and also make sure to use code ashi in your fortnite item shop if you want to support me out even further i'll see you guys all in the next one today we're meeting fortnite's number one skin collector we're going to check out all his rarest exclusives, and he also told me that he's saving his five rarest cosmetics for the end. Let's dive right into this. All right, bro, show me what you got. All right, so I have over 1,000 skins, so many exclusives, rare edit styles, and a bunch to show you. Starting off with the Dark Scully and Xbox exclusive. You had to buy a console just to get this. I definitely don't have this one then. The full Dark Vertex bundle from Xbox. Codes oh. for this right now are over $1,000. Dude, I don't have that one. I don't have that one. Oh, man. He yeah, looks it's cool, very bro. rare. It is a cool skin indeed. And then the Eon as well, an Xbox exclusive from Chapter 1 Season 6. I had a code for this. I gave it to my brother. The Black Adam, which is currently blacklisted from returning. Your favorite skin, Cypher, oh, which actually hasn't returned in a while. She hasn't, bro. I feel like she would sell super well when she returns. <laughs> Isaac Clark from a pack. The Marcus Phoenix, but I do actually have the exclusive matte black Xbox style. Oh, I got it. Same with the Master Chief. I do also have the Xbox style right here in the matte black. Again, Master Chief hasn't been out in over 400 days right now. Oh, geez. So I actually did buy an Xbox to get this edit style. Like, I had to do it. Like, I actually bought an Xbox just for this edit style. The Astro Jack, which we all know this is pretty rare now. It's never coming back. There's no way. <laughs> The Travis Scott, again, just like the Astro Jack, not returned, but I think this might be the sought after skin in the game right now. It is probably the most, most sought after for sure. Everyone wants it to come back. Deadpool, and uh, the reason I favorited it, because I have the gray style, which you had to complete a challenge in the Chaps 2 Season 2 Battle Pass in order to get this style. Wait, 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 I gotta see if I have this. Deadpool edit style. Okay, okay, I, I did complete it. Thank God I was on my A game, because that looks cool. I, I, I never see it with this style. Everyone runs the black and red. The Eddie Brock is actually the only other Marvel skin besides Black Widow, which hasn't made a return. I wonder why. Black Knight, the max tier of the Season 2 Battle Pass. Yeah, that's a classic. Inferno from one of the packs. Midas, and I have this on the favorite because I have the fully golden style for it, which is cool. Mm. The Omega from Chapter 1 Season With 4. The purple lights. <laughs> yes, yes, the max style right here. The Rogue Spider Knight, another Xbox exclusive skin. Mm, I don't have him. Rose team leader from Save the World. Oh, yep. The Reaper. This girl is from the Halloween pack. Not many people rock this skin. I never ever see it. I rarely see it. I have her, but I rarely ever see it. The Axion Sentinel. Another level up quest pack with the maximum style right here. Brutus, again, fully golden. Kind of a thick skin. Yeah, I have all the skins fully golden except Peely. My Peely is like half golden. The Captain Hypatia with, again, the uh, the max edit style, mm -hmm. which is the red one. Chaos Origins. Now, what's cool about this skin is that it's Fortnite crew, but the gold style is exclusive for members who was part of the crew for three months in a row. Ah, I see, I see. I should, so I should definitely have this, but like not everybody was a crew member for three months prior to this. Yeah, exactly. The Cobalt skin, Season 7 starter pack. Darby Dynamo is also from a pack, which hasn't returned in a very long time. The Elite Agent Elite from Agent. Season 3. Guardian Amara is a pack skin. And then Janky. Have you ever seen the skin in Game Cypher? Wait, I have never seen him in game. <laughs> do I wait, do I even have him? Oh, I have him, I have him, but I've never seen him in game. So he's only been in the shop for five days in total, and it's been around two years since it returned. What? I didn't know he was like that. I, I didn't know he was that rare. I don't dude, I've never seen this guy in yet. I didn't even know I had him. And apparently it was limited time, so it may never make a return. Oh, wow. Okay. That's, that's good to know. I have another rare skin. Meowsles, of course, you already yeah. know. We got the fully golden style again. Nice. And Mike Lowry, which is <laughs> He's interesting. Not 
<laughs> yeah, he's, he's probably not coming back. It's been like 700 days since he's been in the item shop, which is a long time. I love that you know all these things about the item shop because I feel like I lack the knowledge. Like I have some of the skins, but I lack the knowledge of like the rare skins and how long it's been. This is also from a pack. The Neo Versa is a PlayStation exclusive, but yeah, you have to get a code in order to get it. I don't have this one. The Omega Knights, which is the reskin of Omega, a level up quest pack. The Dune skins actually haven't returned in a very long time as well, which I'm not sure many people know about that. Mm. They, they might return for Dune too. And the rogue agent from season oh, yeah. three. I got this. I got this. It was the Very first like $5 skin. like pack, right? Yeah, the first ever starter pack. And it did actually come to the shop as well for one day. On accident. A lot of people right? didn't like that. Yeah. So they removed it. Yeah. Rust Lord season three battle pass, a classic skin. Yep. The Salvador. Now, let me know. Have you actually ever seen this one in game as well? I haven't seen it in game, but I believe I haven't. Oh, I do have it. He's cool. What? He's cool. Yeah, very cool skin. And if it doesn't return for Halloween coming up, then it's going to be very, very rare. Sierra is another one of those Fortnite crew skins, which has the exclusive golden style right here. This is the original style. The Snake Eyes hasn't been out for over 700 days. But what's funny about this, it was in the shop 50 days in a row. After the 50 days, he just hasn't returned. Sophia, this one's pretty interesting. The thing is, she was in the item shop less times than John Wick. And most collectors just bought the John Wick. Obviously, it's more iconic. But yeah, yeah she's not been out for over 800 days. Jeez. Sparkle Specialist, very classic skin. Classic, indeed. And the Surf Strider, which is an Intel exclusive skin. I remember doing this. I remember making a video about it, too, to get people to do it. And Tientina, which, of course, we have the golden style. Nice. The Vox Hunter. This is kind of more rare than people think. It's actually from a pack which never made a return. And oh. the skin's not the best. So I yeah, feel like not, not many people got it. The Wildcat, one of the best exclusives from Nintendo Switch. I bought a Switch <laughs> for a family member, but I took the Wildcat code. code. I mean, I've, <laughs> I paid for the Switch. So I'm like, come on, I'm going to take the code. Xander from the Refer a Friend quest. Do you have this one? Uh, Xander? There's no way. Hold up. I don't have him. I don't have him. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, if you missed out on him, he's never made a return. So it's kind of a rare skin. Another pack skin right here. And then we have a PlayStation exclusive Blizzard Bomber. This one's really clean. Wait, I'd never seen this one. <laughs> Blizzard Bomber? What? Yeah, check if you have it. I don't. I don't. I know I don't. I know I don't. I've never seen this one. That's crazy. The Blue Squire from Season 2 Battle Pass. Another classic. Yep. Chrome Punk, never going to make a return, but it was free. Yep. The Save the World pack, Clip, and also another Save the World skin, Colby. I believe I have both. Combat Tech Jewels, the Contract Killer. Wait, who's the he? Fishy. <laughs> he's, a, he's from a pack. The Diamond Diva, Chapter 2, Season 5 Starter Pack mm -hmm. skin, and the Dizzy is from Chapter 2, Season 6. These skins haven't been out for a very long time as well. I feel like they didn't sell a lot because it was like an older yeah. <laughs> TV show. Like, Yep. I don't see the skin or the set returning for a long time. Endless Ned is a Save the World skin. Farmer Steel is just a rare item shop skin, which you never really see anyone using this. Yep. Frost Squad is a free skin. So if you missed out, then obviously you'll never be able to get it. Well, I got to check Frost Squad. I got her. I got her. The Huntsmaster Saber is an Xbox exclusive. You had to buy a console just to get this skin. I did not get this one. <laughs> and it has two edit styles as well. The golden one right here. He looks cool. He looks cool. Yeah, it's a cool skin. Iris, Chapter 2, Season 2 starter pack skin. And then we have this one, which is a PlayStation exclusive skin I as do well. not have this guy. Who is this? K-pop yeah, star. Yeah, I, what? You missed outside. I've never even seen him. Bro. I've never seen him in game. Yeah, I would say he's kind of rare. Not many people pick this one up. Laguna from Season 8 Starter Pack. Lars, which is another Save the World skin. Mm -hmm. Never going to make a return. Do you have this one? I have Lars. Nice. And I have Same for the Lockbot lock. as well. This one? I don't have her. I don't... No. <laughs> no. This, this is such a good skin as well. You Save the World? Yeah, she's from a Save the World pack, so she's never going to make a return. Oh, man. I missed out. Mecha Pop, also a Save the World skin. Same as this one right here. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Party Trooper. Now, what's exciting about this skin is that I have an edit style from the Ariana Grande concert, which will never, ever make a return. Wait a minute. Hold, hold up. What? What did you have to do? In order to get this, you had to buy the skin prior to attending the concert. 
Radiant Striker, a rare item shop skin. And renegade then Raider. we have the Renegade Raider indeed. Chapter 1, Season 1 skin. I didn't get Renegade Raider. I didn't get it. I just yeah, thought, I thought that she looked simple, and I was like, oh, they'll make better skins. And at the time, I didn't have a lot of V-Bucks. That might be one of the biggest mistakes that you made. So <laughs> Agreed. Just, <laughs> Agreed. Of course, she has the default style, and the checkered one was added in Chapter 1, Season 8. I didn't even know she had two styles. What? Yeah, yeah, she does. You had to get to level 20 in Season 1 to even buy this. Yeah. Robo Kevin from Save the World. Robo Ray from Save the World. Royal Knight, Season 2 skin classic now this one is very special as well what you might want to check if you have this skin cypher sparkle skull yes yeah, sparkle skull i don't have her no tell me about her what is yeah, this yeah so she is very rare she was only available during the ariana grande concert as well last seen over 700 days ago super rare skin oh i missed it wow yeah crazy crazy skin she's super clean in my opinion Another PlayStation exclusive skin right here. And then the Tart Tycoon yep. from the Apple <laughs> Tony, which is another Save the World pack. Wave Breaker from Chapter 2, Season 1, a starter pack skin. Have you got the Ghostbusters skins? They haven't returned two years now. I do have them. And now we're getting onto the uncommon skins. But what's interesting is that I have every single FNCS one. And actually, some of them haven't been out in over 700 and 800 days. I don't have every single FNCS. I have most of them, but not every single one. So I would say the rare ones is Major Glory from Chapter 2 Season 7. The Victor Elite from Chapter 2 Season 8. And then the rarest one is the Champion from Chapter 2 Season 6. If you have the Champion, that'll be pretty impressive. I have the Champion, but I don't... I, what was the other one? The Major, Major Glory. Glory. I don't have Major Glory. The Rainbow Racer. Uh, if you didn't get Xander, maybe you don't have this. It was another refer a friend skin. Rainbow Racer. She looks cool. I do not have her. <laughs> no. Yeah, she's a pretty rare skin from Chapter Two. It's crazy. The amount of skins there are. The amount of skins I have, and I and I, there's a lot that I'm missing. Okay, let's see the backlinks. So for backlinks, again, I have over a thousand. But let's hop onto the favorites. Oh, I already see mine right there. Let's go. Yeah, we see yours right here. <laughs> You got the Black Knight Shield, the Xbox exclusive ones. This is Janky's Batbling, which you never see. Wait. The Rust Bucket. From... Yeah, the free one. Yeah, this is this is very iconic in the game, I'd say. Beast Llama is from a Twitch drop. Not many people have this one, to be honest, Cypher. You might want to check I, if you do. I, do. I don't, I don't. This is from the Super Bowl event. This is just Beast out of Llama. curiosity. I'm just going to search it up. I don't have it. <laughs> the Dream Lantern is from Lantern Trials Challenges. Another rare one right here. Mm -hmm. Nope. Don't got it. And now onto the FNCS one. Some of these are from the item shop and some of these are from Twitch drops. Mm -hmm. But they will never make a return. So it's nice to have most of them. Yep. You're showing me a bunch of rare things, but there's a top five that you have that's even more rare than all of this. So I'm looking forward to see that. But let's see what you got in the pickaxe category. Yeah. So for pickaxes, I have 849. But onto the favorites, I have some really interesting ones. So, of course, we got the Leviathan from the Kratos yep. set. Everyone wants this. The Octane Wampa. So, in order to get this, you actually had to play Rocket League on a phone and complete <laughs> some challenges. No way. I, I don't have that. There's just, yeah, this is very rare. Bro, like, it's, if you want to have every skin, like, you, you got to have a phone, an Xbox, a PlayStation 5. Uh, you got to pull, you got to watch Switch drops. You got to do different surveys. Like, it's it's crazy the different avenues you have to go to collect all these different skins. Yeah, there's a lot of things. We have the Travis Scott pickaxe, mm -hmm. the major laser axe, not being out for 800 days. Yep. The Aquariax. I what can guarantee that you don't have this one. Yeah, I don't have it. What is this? So in order to get this, you had to sign up for a website and actually complete challenges with someone on your friends list. You had to play 50 matches just to get this. What? Yeah, how many people even have this? No yeah. shot. This is very rare. I never ever see it. We have the Electric Claw. This is a Nintendo Switch exclusive. What? Never seen this. I didn't know Switch had a pickaxe exclusive either. It's the Wildcat pickaxe, but the way to get it is different to the Wildcat. The Fortnite's birthday pickaxe, a PlayStation exclusive one, the Xbox exclusive mm -hmm. one from the Dark Vertex. This skin. is a really expensive one, right? Yeah, this is like $1,000 if you want to get this. The Dazzle Daggers. I would imagine that you don't have these as well. 
Dazzle, I don't have them. How do you, how do you get them? So in order to get these, you had one day to log on to Xbox Cloud Gaming in order to receive them. Oh, I remember seeing these. I even made a like a little video about it. I didn't do it myself though. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I feel like not everyone did it. The Ember Baton is a PlayStation exclusive. I have never seen that in my life. These are Janky's pickaxes. We saw the skin earlier, mm -hmm. and to get the pickaxes, you could you could have bought them separately. They've not been out for a long time. Gotcha. The Lucky Lance was from a secret challenge, and if you swing the pickaxe, it's like a Russian doll, and it has what? different layers to it. Wait, what's yeah, this it's one pretty called? crazy. This one is called the Lucky Lance. If you showed me these, and you're like, this is from a different game, or this is like a private server, I would have been like, yeah, I've never seen this in my life. What? This is such a unique concept that they saved for like a random pickaxe that is so obscure and no one has. Super random, super random. We have some more Save the World pickaxes. Saber's Fang is an Xbox exclusive. Don't got it. The basic basher, this is from Save the World. So if you it. own Save the World Founders, you will have this. Okay, I have that. A bunch of different Save the World ones. The loose cannon cutters are actually Will Smith's pickaxes. <laughs> The simple sledge from John Wick hasn't been out for a long time. Mm -hmm. And then the wave crest is the Intel exclusive pickaxe as well. I got that one. Fortunately, fortunately I did. Ultra Scythe didn't make a return in the last two Halloweens. So it's a really rare pickaxe. So there's actually one more pickaxe I want to show you, Cypher, but we're going to save that for later. Okay, so let's check out the gliders. Onto my favorited gliders, we do have the Travis Scott one mm -hmm. and also the Mr. Beast. I got Gala. this. I got this. Yes. Only 100,000 people have this. And it should never return. So nope. I guess you could say it's a rare glider. Get this one from your locker bundle. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. An Xbox exclusive glider. Yep. Yeah. The Rusty Rider. Now, this one's very special because it's actually the Renegade Raiders glider. And it's not been in the shop for over 1,500 days. Wait, I have this, but I don't have Renegade Raider. Yeah, this released in Season 3. Gotcha, gotcha. We have a couple of PlayStation gliders. Mm -hmm. The Mako, of course, you already yep. know. Season 1 glider right here. I got this. A Nintendo Switch exclusive. Don't have this one, but it looks cool. For Contrails, I have over 120. And there's actually a couple of PlayStation exclusive ones. The Snowball Flight being the first one. Yeah, I don't have any of these exclusive ones. That one looks cool. I would, I would throw that one on during the winter seasons. Yeah, this one's really cool. And the other one is called Down Arrow from Chapter 2 Season 3, another PlayStation 1. That's about it for Contrails. There isn't really anything uh, in the game other than Embers from the, the game in Cafe in Korea. Were you telling me there was a, there's a Contrail that ha you had to go to a gaming <laughs> cafe for in Korea to get? Yes, there's a Contrail called Embers. You had to go to a gaming cafe in order to actually unlock it. Dude, they make it impossible to have everything if you have to be traveling the world to unlock it, bro. What? All right, let's check out the wraps. So for wraps, I have over 516, which is actually a lot. Take a look. Onto the favorites, we have a Rocket League exclusive wrap. Again, you have that to complete so challenges cool to get it. That looks so cool on the boat. I don't have it. I did not play Rocket League. The Travis Scott wrap. The Carnival Confetti, which hasn't been out in over 1,200 days. And Sweet. it was only available for 24 hours. Okay, let's, let's, a moment of truth. Carnival confetti. All right, let's see. I have it. I have it. 24 nice. hours. Yeah, very rare wrap. Yeah. The arena wraps, which were exclusive because arena is no longer in the game. Mm -hmm. The goo buddies. In order to get this, you had to be a stream elements partner with Fortnite <laughs> and receive a code for it. Yeah, no. No shot I did this. <laughs> Icy pop, which were from summer challenges. Lantern Glow is actually really rare. It's from Lantern Trials back in 2021. Nope, don't have it. And then Octo is actually a Twitch drop from Chapter 2 Season 2 as well. Don't, I don't think I have it. <laughs> Octo, I, I've never seen that one. Hold up. Yeah, I don't. And finally, Fresh Iridescence. You had to log onto Xbox Cloud Gaming in order to get this as well. It's kind of clean. the same color as the Dazzle Daggers. Yeah, it's clean. I, I don't got it. Okay, let's see your banners. For the special tab on banners, I have a bunch which you had to get in order from playing Save the World. Nice, nice. This haunted house with the stars is probably the most difficult to get because you have to be the highest power level in order to unlock it. Yeah, no, no shot. I, I try to play Save the World. I try to get into it. I just, I, I couldn't. So. 
Okay, so now we're gonna get to one of the most impressive parts of the collection, which is gonna be under the emotes, sprays, and emojis. And we still have the top five to look forward to at the end, but let's see what you got in this category. So I have over 1,400 for all, which is insanely stacked. I do have every single icon series, emotes, and cosmetic in the game as well. Nice. So onto the favorites, we do have the Black Adam emote, which won't be making a return anytime soon. Punch in practice from the Arcane Legend set, not been out for over 500 days. These emojis are from some website quests. You had to yeah, complete so many to get these. They're uh, very hard yeah, to get. Yeah, I, I didn't do this. Some Rocket, Rocket League. League. Yeah. yeah, Rocket League emojis and sprays. The Headbanger from Travis Scott. I have the entire set, a very rare emote. LA's Air Punch, Pull Up from DaBaby. <laughs> He's not coming back. <laughs> Yeah, they're not coming back. We got the Rage from Travis Scott, Challenges. Mm -hmm. I actually What's have your that? spray What's that, as well. Uh, ketchup bottle one. So this was from the Patrick Mahomes Cup. Oh, it I was a reward it. for yeah. getting a certain amount of points in the cup. Same with the Neymar one as well. Um, this one is different to the Battle Pass one. You had to get it from the cup. Uh, I do actually have both of the other the baby emotes. Kika yep. Mello from Season 7, the Marshmallow concert. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Laser Blast, the Cypher Strut. Yes, sir. Stuck, which hasn't been out <laughs> for 700 days with only 48 hours in the shop. Yeah, I got that one. I got that one. Salome style is currently blacklisted. It's a... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why is it blacklisted? Because it's... Because the music is from Young Thug and he was going through like a jail issue. Oh, yeah. He is he is in a trial right now. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was blacklisted for other reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what other, what other reasons? I People in Party Royale going crazy. The Cypher's Mask Emoticon. The original Avenger spray from Chapter 1 Season 8. The Mr. B spray, but also the Honk spray from the yeah, Mr. B set this, as well. So, yeah, so in order to get this, you had to watch Carl Jacobs on Twitch. And he wasn't live for a very long time, so there wasn't much chance to get it. Yeah, it was just a couple hours. On to actual dances now, though. We have Best Mates from the Season 3 Battle Pass. The new one from the Battle Pass. The mm -hmm. Floss, of course, season yep. two. Laugh it up. I don't know if you know this, <laughs> but it's not been out for 500 days. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> Epic's learning. They should remove it's it. It's complicated. Was going through a lawsuit because the dance moves are from a real life dance. So it's not returned for over 700 days. I got to see if I have that one. Oh, I got it. Nice. Have you got introducing though from chapter two season three? It was the first ever PlayStation exclusive dance. No, I don't. Yeah, that's pretty rare. I've never seen this one. The Hot Marot from season six, the free emote. Mm -hmm. I got this one. Glyphic is pretty rare. And then follow the butterfly is also another PlayStation exclusive emote as well. God, they get such cool stuff. Yeah, PlayStation stuff's really nice. Little Tree is from Summer Challenges. Pony up. The OG version of Ride the Pony. Yep. Rambunctious, which did used to be insanely rare, but they brought it back for two hours. Take the L. <laughs> <laughs> this one's not even that toxic. It. This one's not even that toxic. I don't mind this one. I like the music. Yeah. Laugh it up pisses me off. The Worm, Season mm -hmm. 2 Battle Pass. Tidy is the same as Rambunctious. They brought it back for two hours. Yep. Vibrant vibing though, this one is kind of overlooked because it's actually from a Twitch drop and it's not returned. Mm, I have this one, but... It was available at the start of the vibing season for a yeah. couple of days. Yeah, I remember that. Be seeing you from the John Wick set. Again, these haven't returned for a long time. You know these creator bundles? There was only yeah, like seven. Yeah. I have got them all. Um, you got all the creator sprays and emojis now. I don't have any single one of these. Yeah, these are all very limited. Only a few thousand codes for each. But we're going to get onto the super rare one very shortly. The Disco Baller Spray used to be a Walmart exclusive, but it yep. came back. Enlightened Warrior from Lantern Trials. The FNCS drops. I do have most of the FNCS stuff, but not quite all of it. Mm -hmm. This spray released a couple of weeks ago, but it was exclusive. And uh, codes were being dropped for it in people's streams. So, yeah, it's pretty I, limited. I didn't get it. Come on, Epic. What's going on? The Fortnite first birthday emoji from season five. Yep. The goat, goat? spray. <laughs> it that was looks cool. Yeah, this one is pretty rare. You had to complete challenges for it from the Jordan skins. Yeah, I didn't do that. The galaxy spray from a Galaxy Cup. The golden flopper, which you had to get a code, redeem the code, and then you would have got the spray. 
I didn't even know there's a glowing flapper uh, spray. The Goticon from reaching the max rank in Arena. I have that. Here's another one of the creator bundles. Yep, this yep. I recognize this. Yeah, very rare. The House Cat, which is from another Galaxy Cup. Another one of the creator bundles, Ayalek with a panda. I think, wait, this is the spray you're talking about, right, Cypher? The Cab yeah, Llama from the Season Llama. 5. Yep, I had a, I have the uh, the code on the desk behind me, but I didn't use it in time. Damn, that is that is a big rip. Yep. Another, Another crater. crater bundle right here. Yep. The out with the old emo, which will never make a return because obviously the balloon says 2020, mm -hmm. and uh, it's not been out for like 950 days now. Super rare emo. Pyrostack, which is another creator bundle. Uh, this is actually one of the best emotes in the game. <laughs> <laughs> agreed. Agreed. Racer Cup also not been out for over a thousand days, and it was only available for 48 hours. Nice. I have this one, thankfully. The scooter team leader was from an Italian Discord quest. What about that anime guy right next to him? Like, wasn't this guy just random? <laughs> this very random? What is this? Yeah, this was from a German creator event. So you had to play a map and get points in a map in order to receive this spray. Very rare, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's very random, too. It, yeah, it looks out of place a little bit. <laughs> it does, it does. Share the love spray from the cup in season seven. The sleigh ride is quite interesting because it's from a winter cup and you need to be in a trio in order to compete. Have all of the Soundwave series from the creative events. The takeover spray is actually from a PlayStation Cup very long time ago. Jeez. Yeah, no shot I have this. The Take the Cake, which is from Fortnite Birthday Challenges. The Wave from Season 2. Another creator bundle right here from Zephar. Then the right. Wu-Tang spray, you had to buy Fortnite X Wu-Tang merchandise to receive a code to get this. Ah, uh, I mean, they sent me the merchandise, so I didn't have to buy it, so I didn't get a code. All right, you've shown me a lot of insanely rare stuff, but now we need to get to your top five rarest cosmetics. Lay it on me. At the number fifth spot, we have the spray matter. In order to get, get this, this, you had to watch a Fortnite Mares short night movie for 30 minutes in a Halloween map. What? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that was a thing. Are you kidding me? Yeah, this one this one is very, very rare. You never see this. At the number four spot, we have the Funflower Emoticon. Only 2,500 players in the world have this, and it was wow. from a code drop. Wow. The reason it's so rare is because there was only two codes available. Each had 1,250 uses and it's gone forever. Oh, wow. And people like data mined this, right? It wasn't even like released by Epic. People found out about it and then just like posted it. Yeah, exactly. It was, um, it was kind of just leaked on Twitter. And you got okay. it. Like you're, you're there. You're like, you're on top of this stuff. Yeah, I got it. I was, you had to be quick. This honestly got redeemed in like 15 seconds. It was gone quick. Wow. Something really interesting I want to show you. At the third spot, we actually have the Fortnite Mares 2020 music pack. I don't have this. I, and I don't get how I don't have this. I play on the new season. It was only there. It was only in the shop for one day, right? Yeah, 24 hours back in October 2020 and never, ever returned. All right, let's see number two. At the second spot, we have the Repass bundle, which is a creator bundle. But what's interesting about this is that the creator actually let most of his codes expire. Why so only around that? two, th <laughs> he was annoyed at his chat for spamming codes. So he yeah. just let them expire. Dang. Only around 2000 people in the world have this. It's super, super rare. Please. And at the number one spot cypher, we have something very special. It's a pickaxe. And of course it's the Raiders, Raiders Revenge. Revenge, man. Yeah. So explain why this one's more rare than Renegade Raider. Yeah, so in the season one season shop, you had to get to level 35 in order to buy this. And it was 1,500 V-Bucks. So it was more expensive Whereas, than the skin. Yeah, it was more expensive than the Renegade Raider. Plus, it was a higher level to actually unlock in the first place. That's crazy. What an absolutely stacked locker. That was insane. I, honestly, it's, it's crazy to just to think about how many different ways you had to get all these different cosmetics sprays emoticons there's movies you watch there's consoles you purchase places you had to be codes you had to redeem some of them even got leaked yeah it's insane